The overall goal of this procedure is to use quail duct chimeras as a means to investigate mechanisms through which neural crest cells generate species-specific patterns during craniofacial development. This is accomplished by first dissecting and removing a strip of the neural fold from the mid and anterior hindbrain region of a stage 9.5 quail embryo. The second step involves transferring the quail donor neural fold to the duck host embryo. The third step involves dissecting and removing the equivalent region of a stage 9.5 duck host embryo. The final step is to place the quail neural fold into the duck mid and anterior hindbrain region. Ultimately, the resulting chimeric embryos can pinpoint neural crest mediated changes in gene expression through in situ hybridization and can also reveal morphological changes through histological analyses. I first had the idea for this method when I was watching brown pelicans fly over Ocean Beach in San Francisco. I realized that neural crest cells must be the source of species-specific pattern since they give rise to the bones and cartilages of their long beak skeleton. Although I was unable to track down brown pelican eggs, I was able to find white Peking duck, given that San Francisco has the largest Chinatown outside of Asia. By exploiting the differences in the rates of maturation and morphology between quails and ducks, this method can help us answer key questions in developmental biology, such as understanding the origins of species-specific pattern. Performing the surgery will be Dr. Jennifer Fish, who is a postdoctoral scholar in my laboratory. Assisting will be Kate Waranowitz, who is a graduate student. 